questions. What we'd like to do is give you a brief summary of what information we have right now. Understand there's an active investigation going on. The equipment and everything you see right here right now is all precautionary, okay? So for the families, just we want you to know that. Uh, Chief, go ahead. At approximately 10 minutes to 8 this morning, we had a 7th uh, grade student go into the uh, boys' bathroom and uh, what we believe is a self-inflicted gunshot wound. He was transported uh, to a local hospital. His parents have been notified. Uh, all the students within the school are safe. Uh, there is uh, no, no concern for harm to them at this time. We are trying to find an orderly way to have them dismissed, and we are working through that process. We will have a long-going investigation into this, and we are in the very preliminary stages of that. With that said, Mr. Dillo. Yes, I was notified by local law enforcement, and we responded. We did contact. This is just a heads up. The video I uploaded uh, just a second ago was sideways and missing some information. I don't know if it was a glitch on YouTube. But anyways, this is not a hoax. This is real. Prayers go out to the families, the students that were even in the building. That's tragic for everybody. So anyways, I'll continue to play this for you all. With our emergency phone notification, all parents, we tried to ring every phone that we had uh, listed and to give you the same information that uh, our chief Brink has shared with you. Our four elementaries are closed. Our high school is in the process of evacuating. The police obviously are on scene and we follow their direction on uh, getting our uh, students back to their parents. Uh, all of our activities are canceled for this evening. We will be communicating again in the near future and letting you know about what does it look like for the school day tomorrow. We do have all of our counselors being deployed here to the middle school to support any students and or staff moving forward. I have limited information because obviously it's an ongoing police matter. So at this point in time, I want to appreciate our sheriff department, our local law enforcement, our highway patrol who has responded and they're at the scene along with our safety center, and we do have the FBI here as well. Thank you. So. Okay, well, like I said, I just wanted to do a, a different video because the other one was uh, twisted sideways. This is why we need prayer back in school, people. Our children need prayer. We need God back in our school. Ever since they took God and prayer out of school, things have... Anyways... Just um, pray for the victims, pray for the children that, you know, um, I'm sure with the school going on lockdown and all that, the fears of other kids thinking that they were going to be living uh, a mass shooting, not knowing what's going on. So we pray for them, pray for them to get, you know, peace and uh, rest tonight. So this is, it's just horrible. Anyways. <clears throat> Fear no man, never fear death, get right with God, fight the good fight, stay locked and loaded. Prayers for everybody. Later.